So we've gotten the third version for three out of six races in Bloxfruits. And you know what? Because in the last video, they pretty much overhauled every single race. I thought, you know what? I just want to go and get the rest of them. So yeah, currently, I am a mink. I got some cute rabbit ears, but it's not going to stay like that for long, guys. We're going to be awakening. Sorry, not awakening. What am I saying? We're going to be unlocking version three for every single race. <laughs> so yeah, guys, first things first, let's actually check out all of the changes that have been made to the races that we already own. So for the mink, which is what we are currently using, they really just changed the looks. And honestly, it looks freaking amazing, guys. Look at that light effect. It is so freaking cool. And you go so fast. So yeah, that is the main change we got for mink. All right, guys. So for the next race that we own, we're going to be checking out exactly what the different looks are for ghoul. So all right. So we've just become a ghoul. So let's see what happens when I awaken my heightened senses. Oh, okay. So it's kind of the same thing. It's pretty much the same ability as mink just has a different look to it so looks pretty cool in my opinion so yeah guys this is definitely not as fast as mink but it also gives you a speed boost at night so it's actually pretty good also allows you to steal blood from enemies or whatever it's like some creepy thing and it's actually quite an amazing uh, ability <laughs> all right guys next up we're gonna check out cyborg which apparently got more than anything else the most changes like a crazy amount of changes now actually to change the cyborg it costs you 2500 fragments every time which i think is kind of dumb but whatever okay i'll just do it just to show you all. So yeah, pretty much we can still use our energy core ability, but previously, pretty much all of the damage you got dealt while you activated it, you would return it back to the people. But now I think it's just like a straight up like constant AOE damage ability, which is actually kind of sick. Like I just did a lot of damage to this guy. Like that's kind of nuts. All right, guys. So yeah, next up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go change race. I'm going to do it. Now the first one I get is the one that we're going to turn into V3. So three, two, one. Let's see. What are we going to get? We're starting. Starting off with Fishman. Yeah, my face is pretty accurate right now. I don't know. I don't really know if Fishman is really any good for someone that has a blocks fruit. Like right now, what it does is it makes it so you can pretty much swim in water without taking too much damage, which is not all that useful because uh, who swims in water? <laughs> all right, guys. So let's head straight to the place where we can start awakening our Shark Man. Shark Man? Fish Man. Fish Man. That's the one. All right, guys. So here we go. Shark Man. Let's talk to the alchemist. Now, this part of the awakening is pretty much going to be the same for every single one of these. So we're going to have to find three flowers scattered around the world. Now, they can pretty much be anywhere there's grass, okay? So keep that in mind. <laughs> now, they tend to be kind of like a little bit hidden, but not too well hidden. So yeah. All right. So let's see if we can find ourselves the blue flower, which is the flower that always spawns at night. So yeah, you can only find that one at night. <laughs> oh, and there it is, baby. Okay. So it spawned on this island. I got the blue flower. Come on, give it to me, baby. There you go. So yeah, guys, because it's still nighttime, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for the yellow flower, which you can pretty much just get by killing players, or not players, sorry, killing uh, NPCs. So any one of the NPCs can drop it. Oh my god, it's got a black spiky coat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just didn't get it. But yeah, you gotta just kill a bunch of enemies. There's a small chance that we'll drop it. Oh, and I got it. There we go. Got the yellow flower. Now we just gotta wait for daytime. Oh, I found it. The red flower. There we go. So yeah, guys, next up, all I have to do is talk to my man over here once again, Mr. Alchemist. And I'm pretty sure he will upgrade my shark man to V2 for five hundred thousand bucks so there it is baby race has evolved so now we can no longer take damage from water which is uh, like i said i don't know how useful that is because uh who really spends time in the water anyway <laughs> but guys that brings us to v3 where things start getting a little bit more useful so yeah guys next up it's about time that we awaken or not awaken unlock version three which we're gonna do over here next to the arrow we by the way if you don't know where this is uh, if you go to the big island thing with the sunflowers on it it's right here in the back so let's Let's talk to him and let's see what he's going to tell us. Let's begin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're the son of Indra. You know hidden strengths, yada, yada. It's always the same stuff. Excellent. Talk to me again once you defeat a sea beast. Uh... <laughs> so we're going to have to somehow get our hands on a sea beast. <laughs> so yeah, if you don't know how to get a sea beast to spawn, you need to bring as many people as you can to see. <laughs> so that's what we're doing right now. And they can spawn like every 30 minutes or something. Yes, finally. Oh my God. This has taken so much freaking time. Oh my God. I got to do enough damage oh my god 
<laughs> Finally! Come on! Come on, how close to death is he? Come on. He must be close, right? Oh my god, he got a lot of health. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> so guys, actually not being able to die in water is actually pretty nice for this. I'm not gonna lie. And there it is, baby. We completed the quest. Let's go. All right, now to not dying. <laughs> also, guys, I totally wasn't ready for this. This took much longer than I expected it to. Like, it's actually really tricky to spawn a sea beast. <laughs> Because in the latest update, you can now also get, like, the boat. And I think the boat actually cancels out the sea beast. So, yeah. It was a bit tricky, but we ended up getting there in the end. So, let's awaken our fish man ability, baby. All right. Well done. Like many toads before me. Have used this gift of mine to teach others. Of course, though. I charge a cheap price for my craft. Two million belly should do it. All right. Pay him up. Excellent. And we just got awakened shark man. Whatever the heck you want to call it, baby. Now, let's actually just see what the ability looks like shark body Ooh. okay so it's just cool blue lighting now i don't exactly know what it does i think what it does is it prevents you from taking damage by like a lot oh my god guys so apparently when you awaken the shark ability the uh, the water body you take 90 percent less damage so let's say you took 100 damage you only take 10 damage like that is nuts <laughs> that is actually really good all right first no water body let's see how much damage it does <laughs> All right, hit me, baby. I'm ready. Oh, boy. Okay, so we went down. Oh, my God. Okay, we're taking a lot of damage right now. Lots and lots of damage. And we actually died. Now, guys, we are going to try the same thing. But with water body. <laughs> okay, kill me. Everyone, come for me. I dare you. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, everyone is going to hit me. Start hitting me in a second. Oh, my God. There's a lot of attacks. Go away. Water body. Now, it actually pretty much makes it so I don't take a lot of damage for just long enough to get away. <laughs> I died anyway. <laughs> Okay, guys, so that is actually a pretty cool race. I gotta be honest with you, but it's far from the last one that we're gonna have to get. So let's get into the next one, baby. Change race. And right now we have Skypian. So we're gonna do the whole thing again. Uh, you know, the, the one where you have to get the flowers. It's the same exact thing. So I'll just be back with you all as soon as I have the flowers. Three, two, one. All right, 500k down. And we just got Skypian V2. <laughs> so yeah, pretty much what V2 does, it pretty much just reduces uh, a lot of the uh, energy that is used up by sky jumping and you also get some extra sky jumps so can be kind of useful but so far it's really nothing crazy but where things start getting crazy is when we start getting to v3 so we have the same old speech it's the same thing as all the other ones pretty much is like i'll teach you things to make you stronger i'm interested all right excellent talk to me again once you've defeated one of your own kind oh god i'm gonna have to turn one of these guys into a sacrificial lamb <laughs> and they're fighting over there i'll just steal one of the kills. Okay. Nice damage. Nice damage. Nice damage. Okay, he has a lot. Oh my God. He can heal. Oh, geez. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage, baby. Oh my God. This is a big battle. <laughs> He's running away. He's so fast. And I'm dead. Dang it. Okay. We're gonna, we gotta get hard. We gotta go harder. We gotta go even harder. <laughs> Come on. Did I kill him? No. He's almost dead. He's almost dead. Come on. Yes. I killed someone. <laughs> Yes! Okay, now I'm gonna run. No, I can't run. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I got a kill. It's worth it. All right, baby. Let's see. What are we gonna get right here? Greetings. You haven't completed my order? Wait, what? Wait a second. I just killed someone for sure. Oh my god, I gotta kill someone that is a Skypian? Okay, who is Skypian? <laughs> I didn't realize you gotta kill a Skypian? There you are! <laughs> okay, it's time to die, buddy. I'm so sorry. Bang! Where's he going? He's right there! He's right there! And I killed him! <laughs> <laughs> that should mean that I finally have it unlocked. Well done. Like many toes before you, yada, yada, yada. 2,000 bucks. There we go. We just got Skypian V3, baby. Now, it does look visually different, but it's kind of the same look anyway. So you can't really tell. But when you have V3, one of the cool things that you actually get is an ability that lets you heal. Like, heal a lot. <laughs> I think it's a 20% heal the moment you activate it, which in the midst of battle can be quite crucial. 20% of your max. HP. All right, let's get punched by some zombies. Please don't hurt me, man. Ow, ow, ow. All right. Ah, I'm dying. I'm dying. Okay, heal. Ah. Oh, look at the healing. Oh, that's a lot of healing. Holy moly, dude. Oh, that's actually really nice. <laughs> yeah, guys, it also gives you back 20% of your stamina. Now, I don't really know how I can quickly spend 20% stamina. That's a lot, but the moment you activate it, you actually get back 10% of your stamina. Now, we are off 
to the final one. And guys, this is going to be the most interesting one of them all. At least I think. Yeah, baby. There it is. We're going to be human. <laughs> it's the race that pretty much everybody spawns with. But guys, you can actually awaken it and make it better. Like, how does that even work? So yeah, we're going to go and do the whole uh, quest thing again where you get the flowers. You know, we've seen it before. I'll be back as soon as I'm done with it. All right, baby. We got all the flowers. Talk to me, my man. All right. So we just got our race evolved. And right now we are human V2. So yeah, what do we get by doing this, right? Where are we, we don't look any different, right? Um, well, our actual um flash step range. So the, you know, like this, uh, we now have double the range. And instead of a 15 second cooldown, it's only 10 seconds, which is kind of nuts. So let's see how far we can go. Okay, I actually didn't go that far. I thought I just went really far uh, for some reason. <laughs> I think the range is actually like really right, nice right now. I gotta be honest with you. And also uh, we have one permanent extra observation dodge. So right now if we get hit, which we can't because we have all these people here allied, um, we'd have one extra dodge, which is uh, pretty nice as well. All right, same old, same old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm interested. Talk to me again once you've de defeated Jeremy, Fushida, and Diamond. I don't even know where all these guys are. <laughs> well, I guess I'll find them and kill them. <laughs> Time to defeat these punks. All right. He's been taken out, which means that we have the first kill done. All right. Let's uh, kill this guy next. Jeremy. All right. Next kill down. All right. Boss respawn. Here we go, baby. All right. We got the kill. And I think with that, we have all of the bosses killed, which means that we can now awaken human V3. <laughs> All right, let's see, sir. Come on. And yeah, there we go, guys. We have now unlocked human V3. Now, what does human V3 do, right? Well, we get our last resort ability. Now, guys, this is actually really freaking good. Pretty much the more damage we have, let's say we have lost 50% of our health, we can get up to a 50% boost in damage. So yeah, I just activated it, which is, uh, you know, a pretty cool looking effect. So let's say we take 50% of our death right here. So actually, wait, first, first things first, we got to get enough damage done here so ah, we're taking so much damage right now so yeah let's see how much damage one punch does right now to a single enemy all right one guy right here let's see Bang! that was 1385 okay so let's see uh, keep hurting me keep hurting me <laughs> okay cool 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 so let's activate and bam 2000 yeah that is just a really really good damage upgrade like that is kind of nuts especially since i did an actually pretty weak ability right there like i know my friend turtle he's like the admin of my discord server which you should join by by the way, he loves human V3. Apparently, it's like really, really good for setting up some like cheeky combos. So yeah, with that though, we're gonna be ending off today's video. If you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, check out the Discord server. It's totally worth it. And with that, I'll see you later, boys. Peace!